to the garage, Grease Lightning Garage. Today I just want to give an update on my latest, latest track day, which was Saturday the 29th. A little track called Julesburg, Colorado. Julesburg Dragway. It's an old airport runway. Really decent track. Um, it's pretty windy up there, pretty dusty. They did not prep on the day. And which was fine. Um, ran my best time up there. Uh, my, my mile per hour, best mile per hour, best everything um, right off the trailer. But then the rest of the day had some inconsistencies. And after watching some of the videos that my buddy recorded for me, I think I know why. I think my sure grip surely ain't gripping. On one of the videos, you can clearly see the wheels stop spinning when I'm doing a burnout. And then later in the day, he said, I can't remember if he said it was a passenger or the driver's side wheel wasn't spinning. So I definitely think my sure grip is, is, is leaving. So might be time to upgrade with a spool. Um, best run on the day was a 12, 2, 5 with a four at a 111.66 miles per hour. Only got five runs on the day. Um, I definitely spun a couple times, but one of my runs I believe was the was the rear end. I don't know if it slipped and then gripped, but it just, something didn't feel right. So, um, but also makes sense because when I took the car to Bandamere, the first, my first outing, it wouldn't spin the it wouldn't spin the tires in second gear in the water box, which was kind of crazy to me. The first run it, it worked perfectly, but after that it wouldn't do it. So I might I might have been having this issue for since I put the car together. I bought the the chunk that's in there from a swap meet, so it's a it's got 14 Richmond gears, sure grip, but it could have been toast when I bought it. Okay, here's those time slips. Best one of the day, the car B469. So I made a mistake earlier. This is not my best 60, but everything else I believe is the best. Eighth mile, quarter mile, mile per hour for sure by a long shot. Um, DA for this run was 4867. I was on the two step at 4,000 RPM and the jets were 74 and 84s. I changed the jets before I went because Julesburg is 1,400 feet lower than Pueblo. And in Pueblo on my last run, I think I went through the traps with the AFR showing 13.0 and, and moving from 13.0 to 13.2. So I was afraid it was going to go lean down there. Um, second run, like I said, uh, I don't know if this was from slippage or from the rear end going out. They didn't prep the track and it wouldn't hold it with the two-step at 4,000. Four so this run, I forgot to turn the two-step on and I think I launched around 4,500 and my 60 foot was horrible. But the mile per hour was almost the same as the first run. Um, third run, I switched front jets, trying to lean it out a little bit because on the second run, I noticed the AFR was showing 12.1, which is a little fat. And on this run, the AFR was showing, I believe, 12.5, 12.6. So I just, I just kept it there for the rest of the day. Um, Again, this run, horrible, 60 foot. I definitely spun on this one. I saw it in the video and I, I felt it. DA on that one was 5,100. Fourth run, DA 5,421. I also changed the two step down to 3,000 thinking it would help, help me grip 
um, and what not so much. This run was a little better. This was after lunch. Um, and like I said, it was pretty windy and the, the track was kind of dusty. So also I have Calvert sh adjustable shocks in the back. I had them at six. And after coming home and doing some research, I think I, I, I should have started with them all the way firm and then worked my way down if I needed. So front of the car lifts pretty good. I got a little bit of separation in the back, but maybe if I have them set tighter, I'll get more separation. And here's the last run. DA is still at 5,400. Um, same 3,000 on the two-step. And another horrible 60 foot. The left lane just wasn't playing nice with me. Although that mile per hour went up from the last run, that was 108. Um, and I believe these mile per hours are pretty close to, should be 11. 119999. I don't know. Maybe a 12 0. Anyway, those are the runs. Keep in mind, I always write the DA on it because a lot of people are, you know, a lot of viewers are at sea level and running really low DAs or don't even know what a DA is. So, honestly, I'm happy with what the car's doing. I think it would have ran a little better had my rear end not slipping, been slipping. So, um, that's where I'm at. And hope to see y'all soon at the No Name Nationals. All right, thanks for watching.